So Alan Cole, he called the Warrior Armored, as you can see. Um, really well done. Um, politics is about priorities. Clearly the priorities are wrong um, in a lot of camps. But what I want to tell you is, my pension fund's doing very well. It's doing really good. And I'm sure that will reassure you because it's involved, invested in fossil fuels and armaments. And that's the Scottish Parliamentary Pension Scheme. So can I tell you that whilst I've been very keen to, to support the, the Glasgow University students and indeed your very good selves, I've been trying my very best to get some sense applied to the Scottish Parliamentary Pension Scheme, which has proved very challenging, I have to tell you, because they've come up with all sorts of reasons why we can't change things. It would be awkward, there's administration connected with it. Yeah. Right. So I was going to show you, and if, uh, if I can, this visual aid to show some of the, the difficulties we have. So I'm very interested in the, the arms industry. It's a very pernicious uh, industry in Scotland. And uh, I asked the Scottish Government how many premises there were that were involved in the design, development, production and sale of armaments, and they were unable to tell me. So you always have to try and find creative ways of dealing with issues. So I asked them at a subsequent meeting, in the chamber were they content that emergency procedures, planning procedures for Scotland were robust enough? And they said, oh yes, perfectly. And I said, well if you don't know where you're making bombs and guns, how can you say that? <laughs> and then, I then found out that there was a report done. Now the good news is you and I paid for this report. This is the report here. It's got a lovely title, an industry baseline study for the aerospace, defence and marine sector in Scotland produced in July 2010. Now I asked for a copy of that and they wouldn't give me it. So I asked again nicely and they did give, did give me it. And I want to show you what they gave me. They gave me a fairly traditional front page. <laughs> white paper, black writing. Oh. I'll just shout because then what I got was this. <laughs> <laughs> to be in no doubt whatsoever that your money pays for that. It pays for the silence of public investment in Arnold's in Scotland. So if you can all hear me, we'll not be put off by these people. Now, it is going to take a, a positive action from people expressing a really positive view about humanity, because this is what it's about. The other thing, the other bit of information I brought yesterday was, you'll meet, some of you may have seen it, it's from the International Monetary Fund, hardly a radical organisation, <laughs> telling us that fossil fuels are subsidised at the rate of $10 a minute. 10 million a minute, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we differ here. Uh, 3.4 trillion pounds a year, more than the world spends on healthcare. And you have to ask yourself, who's interested in being served by that? And I would say it's a very narrow group of elites, and the elites in the UK are the public school boys. They're the bankers, they're the uh, military, and uh, that is not how I think a government should run its organisation, and I don't think... Uh... But what we have to do is we have to challenge all the time, and you've been quite right to challenge. It's rank hypocrisy for politicians at all levels, and I include council level, Scottish parliamentary level, and UK level, to be commending good public health, to be commending good international relationships, while all the time working. And of course, to have the best. And don't we puff our chests out in that parliament when we say they've got the most challenging climate change targets in the world? We puff our chests out, and then we should hang ourselves our heads in shame when we know that we've failed them year after year. <laughs> The moratorium in fracking. Read the fine print, read the second last paragraph where Mr Ewing, the minister, says we should never close our eyes to the opportunities. Well, if the opportunities are killing this planet, if the opportunities are killing our fellow men, I want nothing to do with it. I suggest none. So, can I, uh, in closing, thank you all very much. Can I raise my Imaginary glass to the people behind me here because I think it's tremendous work that's been done. And uh, I, know, I know our dear friends in the front here who have been shouting at they're going, they're doing their job as are other people. But our job is 
citizens, to hold politicians to account, to hold decision makers to account, to make sure that we do things in the interest of humanity and this planet, not the other way around. Warren Tag, thank you.